Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're back with some track battles and I'm going to be doing my best to hunt down this really quick Porsche 911. As I mentioned in my last video, I'm out here testing my new tires. I got some Kumo V730s and as you'll see, I started getting very comfortable. Let's hop into the video. That GTR sounds absolutely amazing, but unfortunately for us, someone's holding up pretty much the entire track. So half of the guys pit, and typically I would pit too, uh, but there's already a bunch of cars in the pit and I didn't want to deal with that. I knew what they were doing, hoping to get some track, uh, but unfortunately one parade lap later and me and the GTR are asking for space. Luckily, we come out behind this really cool 911. Um, not sure what model it is, um, it looked like maybe like a 991, uh, I have no idea other than that. Didn't look like a GT3, I'm guessing like maybe a Carrera S just based on the amount of horsepower it has because the thing definitely gets down. As we come up on turn one, you can see the Porsche getting stuck behind like two cars. So I think we're going to make out a little bit better through here uh, than he does. So the M3 is really nice, points me by pretty quick because there's a pretty big speed differential since you already had to slow down and point the 911 by. And then it's going to be a reoccurring theme through this video that Corvette is going to be pretty slow the whole time. But we managed to navigate through the traffic a little bit quicker than he did and gain some pace through there. up ahead the Corvette's actually gonna point the Porsche by and he's gonna hop offline to do it so that kind of gives me a chance to close that gap to him but watch as I slowly close the gap he finally gets back on power and then you can see the massive difference in power between these cars it's always amusing watching this happen so the Corvette actually had to let off there because the BRZ was so slow up front um, you know, holding both of us up. But I was trying to do my best, working my way through traffic to catch up back to that Porsche, but I really think it's not gonna happen. I just got slowed down way too much. Of 
quick mirror check, looks like that really fast GTR is back already. I was on for a personal best, but I decided to hop offline and try to give him the point by on the inside. You can kind of hear him getting on and off throttle as he <laughs> tries to put the power down on that ridiculously fast car. At least we got to hear the GTR's exhaust for a little bit as it blows by us, but unfortunately wasn't able to catch up to that 911, uh, at least in this session. But after rewatching the footage, I really did think that there was a chance that I'd be able to catch him if we both had clean track. My arms are tired, and I can't get a clean lap. Oh my goodness, dude. I'm hungry, my mouth is dry. My arms hurt from so much grip. <laughs> that was fun. I didn't go off course here, so. Hello there. So just going to give it a short lift here. I wasn't really sure if the WRX was going to let me by since he probably has a good bit more power. But if he didn't need the lift for the 911, he probably wouldn't have needed to let me by so early. It's kind of unfortunate because the WRX owner actually came up to me afterwards to talk about this session. And apparently we were running very, very similar times. So it actually would have been a great track battle. Uh, too bad I didn't have my rear view camera set up with me because he's definitely on me for a good bit of the lap. of clear track in front of us, it's time to try and recreate that PB we had before we had to let the GTR by. And we already are up about two tenths just from turn one, so just pushing a little bit harder through turn two and three, really focusing on like an early entry so I can set up for this whole section here. Unfortunately carried a little bit too much speed through that last corner. Couldn't get on throttle as much as I'd like, but at that point I'm still really really happy with this because I'm already up two seconds on my previous best. Apex there and lost a bunch of time. the line I actually managed to bank a 117 flat so that was pretty significantly faster than my previous laps and I wasn't even sure that was possible before but my confidence is definitely way up uh, after getting that 117 I think everything starts to you know fall in place I'm hitting my apex is better and uh, pushing a lot harder and trusting the grip of the tires So we're coming up behind this yellow BRZ and I'm very lucky to have caught him on the straight and I'm even more thankful that he gave me the racing line too because this is going to be my personal best. Turned in slightly early there, losing a little bit of time, but no biggie. We still have one more very important corner to go. Mm -hmm. 
really think we gained a lot of time on that braking zone there. I was able to carry more speed and not uh, over slow, which I have a habit of doing in the light bulb. That's amazing. Oh my god. I couldn't do that before. As we cross the line here, I'm able to snag a 116.5, which I'm super, super happy about. It's actually two seconds a lap faster than my original PB on street tires. by that is that the breakaway characteristics are so much more lenient on the Kumos. When I was on the Firestones, it felt like when I was at the edge of grip, they just, you know, they squealed a lot to tell you where the edge of grip was, but in terms of feel, it felt like they just fell away very, very quickly. Not in, not in, bad line. I ran a tenth off my PB with mistakes, so there's definitely more time in it. I'm really happy I'm actually able to do 16s consistently. Going into this, I was thinking I maybe wouldn't even be able to get 17s. So as we go into session three, you can kind of see the camera shaking a lot. I think the GoPro stabilization actually got messed up because I put down the sun visor. At least that's my best guess. But we do have a couple cars to chase in this third session. We got another Corvette and then later on a Cayman. No, don't break, bro. So as we come into turn one here, since there's a car on the outside, I'm going to be really conservative, uh, just carrying not too much speed. Um, I think normally I carry around like 70 or so, and I was down to 60 mile per hour there. So I just really don't want to smack into anybody, but it is something I want to work on is carrying a little bit more speed, having that confidence offline for the kind of passes and get them done faster. almost wish he didn't give me the point by so quickly. If he was quick through the light bulb, I really would have loved to chase him down through the infield and then back around through the whole lap, but he was just being courteous and doing the right thing. I think we may have found who was sending it on turn one. 
All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed the footage. Uh, too bad we couldn't catch that Porsche or at least get enough clear track that we could even attempt it properly anyway. Um, but really, really happy with the progress I made today. Being able to shave two whole seconds off my PB just from tires is pretty insane to me. Um, so this is your cue. If you ever thought about getting a dedicated set of track tires, definitely do it. Uh, to minute tread where you can still take on the street relatively safely. So, um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.